Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and how many, how many episodes have I begun by flying into Kakariko Village? Specifically, Kakariko Village. It's, it's weird. Anyway, last time, we completed a bunch of different quests, got a new sword, and had the option to get another sword up in the shrine, let's see, where is it? The shrine over there some place? I think it's, yeah, it's over that, that that ridge and we got the option to get a new sword but we also got a spirit orb and saved uh, what's his face his family from from e erasure this time we're going to be using the spirit orbs that we have collected no 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 we're going to be using our spirit orbs to get a stamina vessel yes a stamina vessel I know I'm low on hearts but I man I I'm really feeling the loss of stamina more we've only upgraded it once and it doesn't feel good to run out of stamina so quickly so now we have another upgrade to our stamina which is pretty sweet and from here on out we're probably just gonna get heart container upgrades because our stamina is looking pretty good I, I think it's it's fairly decent so this episode we're going to be going first to the stables and then we we're going to be making the pilgrimage back to Hitano village the the uh, the long way the manual way because the first time I, I made this trek I I went from point A to point B did not stop for anything and so today I'm going to be stopping for everything because there's so much here that has yet to be explored all right let's go over to the stables pick up heart and begin our trek So then, are you ready to start, or did you need something else entirely? Uh, I think I talked to him off screen a number of episodes ago, and he said he wanted to race. I don't remember, but I'll, I'll tell him it's on. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess we're doing this side quest? Two minutes flat, I need to bring back a wild horse within that time. Prepare for extreme taming! Okay, so I need to tame a horse real quick. I can do that. It's unexpected, but not with outside my, uh, my reper repertoire, reperte, my forte. There we go. That's, that's what I was thinking of. All right, so where are these horses? Over there? All right, I can, I can dig this. Uh, I get my choice of horse, right? So I should take one that I can tame, but also one that is good. So not like a trash horse. Oh boy. I don't need your garbage. Alright. Sneaking up here. Put away my stuff. I want the gray horse. But for the sake of the competition, I may have to get this horse right here. We'll see though. I have my stealth gear on. And I have a minute remaining. Oh, this is going to be close. This is also one of the reasons why I got the stamina up upgrade to begin with. No, 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 no. Okay, I cornered that one. I cornered that one. No. Ah, no, 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 no. No. Ah, no. No. Ah, come on, come on, come on. I only have 30 seconds left, horse. I don't have time for your garbage. Yes. Ah. Uh, Yes! I got it! Alright. This way. This way? This is actually not a bad horse. It has, a, uh, It has four spurs on it. Now, I do want to keep Hart. Because, I mean, he's Hart. He, I can't not keep him. Come on! At the buzzer! At the buzzer! There we go, I got it. Amazing! But I can't believe you beat my two-minute record so easily. I mean, six seconds to spare. That's not necessarily easy. I mean, I won second place in the Hyrule Horse Taming Competition. To be fair, it was just my my brother and I com competing. Anyway, here's the purse for winning the second official Hyrule Horse Taming Competition. You've earned it. An easy 50 rupees. Neat. All right. Do I want this horse, though? Do I want to register this horse? Uh, I kind of want to keep hearts, but I'll, I'll register him. 
Yeah, I'll register him. Oh, well, there's a chest. All right. Uh, hearts. Hearts, buddy, buddy, buddy. Just go over here. All right, and stay here. I I have business. Daddy has business to attend to. Missed. All right, he's dead. But I think what I'm going to do is just sneak up on them and try to get a stealth attack. Either that or try to make the shot of the sentry on that on the sentry. So it really is the shot of the sentry. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh that was an accidental pun that turned into a glimmer of genius. All right. Shot of the century. No. One more shot. All right. Shot him. Oh, they know? Whoa. They know. Okay. All right. So he's dead. Sneak strike. Wow. That is... That is so strong. Hey, buddy. Oh, boy. He died in one... He really? He dies in one hit? Okay. Well, we got... We got it knocked out. Cool. That's the first thing that I found interesting this episode. And we got an opal from it. I think I found a shrine, guys. Uh, I... On the map, I am near where I fought the boss the other episode. Uh, which is kind of off the beaten path, but that's what this episode is all about. And... That's odd. Apparently it's not a shrine. That's weird, because everything seems to be pointing me... Here. Near... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that it? I think that's it, guys. Okay, so... To get there... We need Cryonis. And Cryonis again. And then I'll switch over. I don't have any bomb arrows, so I have to do this kind of a sketchy way. Throw this. Blow it up, and there's the shrine. Cool. Alright, so let's tackle this real quick. I have a feeling that this whole trek thing and finding what we we missed or what I missed is going to take two episodes, but that's that's fine. I, I'm it really just matters that I'm finding it, and I'm not continuing the story, since I don't want to continue the story. Toto saw apparatus, or apparatus. Alright, so we'll... Oh, it's a one... It's one of the tilt things. Alright, so we'll tilt this very awkwardly. And make a bridge. Seems fine. Seems easy enough. That's a a good concept. All right. So how are they going to complicate this? And also, where will the chest be? I have a. F oh wait, wait. I can see the chest now. Well, what do you know? I I was just about to say. You know where the chest would probably be is underneath one of these. So let's tilt it the other way. And there's our chest. That is very good. Very good job, developers. Very good job. And a shield of the mine eye. Uh, I can drop something for that. Not the best of rewards, but not one to shake a stick at either. I mean, it's a shield, so if you shake a, sh a stick at it, you're probably just asking to be shield bashed. All right. So what about this? Uh, rotate it. Awkward. Actually, wait. Let me check. Make sure there's nothing underneath. Oh, 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 that's what they're going to do now, is it? Okay, so this thing's on a track, which means it actually follows physics. So that's how they're going to make this convoluted. Ugh. This is really treacherous, but it's working, I guess. All right, it's not too bad, but I have a feeling the last puzzle here will be will be very difficult. Also, there are just sharp or uh, steep drops on all sides. Okay, so what is this? Oh, it's a cube puzzle. Oh. And with a chest on it. Okay, so let's get the chest first. I'm tilting the Wii U in angles that it probably shouldn't be tilted. 
So we can get the chest. Can I run up this? I can. It's, it's just a gentle slope. Alright, so there's our second chest of the shrine, which I'll inevitably have to drop something for. What? That's the... Okay. That is the first key we've ever had to get in this adventure. I honestly forgot that keys existed. Alright, so we need... No, no, no. We need the that here, but let me make just make sure. Okay, there doesn't appear to be anything else that needs gotten. Tilt that over to that side. No. Tilt this awkwardly again. And that should be good. I don't know if the stairs almost look like they're sliding slowly. Nope, they are indeed stationary. Alright. So we need this small key to open presumably this door. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh. This is awkward. Can I even get over there? I. Uh, this is really awkward. But we'll try it, I guess. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, barely made it. All right. That, uh, that was a shrine. That was definitely a shrine. And now we can claim our reward. Awesome. So I'm over at Fort Hateno, which is the site of a battle and also some ramparts to pass through. And this is really where we started not I started actually following the path religiously, so I saw this cottage, and it looked interesting, so I'm gonna go inside. Who's... No one's here? Well, there's a book. There's an, a worn-looking book here. Would you like to read it? Yeah, why not? When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. Dark light, cursed statue's eyes, pierce the gaze. All right. That sounds like, uh, what is it, an Armos? The, the I-beam enemies from Zelda? That I'll probably have to, that's probably guarding a shrine nearby? But I was really expecting someone to be living here, but... Apparently not. Apparently not. Alright, so, let's just continue on. I don't know how much time is left in the episode, uh, but if this ends up being a two-parter, then don't expect an outro, just... I don't know, just... It's going to end at some point. Uh, we could go over there. We have not explored that area before, so we'll probably circle up over to Ebon Mountain. That seems... That seems like a, a cool area. This looks like a, a very... Very Xenoblade-esque. Xenoblade X-esque reminiscent, reminiscent area. Alright, so on my way here, uh, I would like to... There, there is one thing I've been meaning to talk about the past couple of episodes, but I have not. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, let's use a fire arrow. And blow up everything? If I sound at all different, it's because I'm currently recovering from a cold. Which would have affected last episode, and this one, and the a couple after. But that is why I sound differently. Now, I have that cold because I have been working very hard uh, because I was elected as my my gaming cl my, the college gaming club's vice president. And so I have been keeping very busy recently. All right, so I, I definitely want the phrenic bow here with normal arrows. Take that guy out. Oh, that was close. All right, so he saw me, but... He was not able to blow the whistle there. Now, I can kill all of them with a well-placed fire arrow, but I'd rather take care of the sentry first. He wasn't able to blow the horn. And so now, let's... Let's uh, make this place go up in flames. There we go. Whoa! Wow, that did so much. No, you... No, you. Uh, I don't want to kill him with that. Cool. That was simple 
and uh, effective. Stealth, man. Stealth goes a long way. But yeah, I was elected gaming club vice president, and that means that whenever the president's sick, I have to take over and basically run the club. And that, uh, I ended up having to do that because he did get sick. And so I was running the club for a while there. Ooh, arrows. Cool. But, uh, yeah, it's kept me very busy, and I've been running event after event, and I've lost so much sleep, which led to me getting sick. In addition to allergies, it's that time of the year where Future Pal has a lot of work cutting out sniffles, and I have to take allergy medicine uh, every day when I record, or if I'm planning on recording. I have to, I have to double up on allergy meds, so... Yeah, it's it's a thing, but it makes me sound a little bit different. I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> cool, there's a chest. With amber, which is not worth showing in an episode. All right, I remember this part. This sign, I believe, directed us to, like, a ranch or something? Here, let's, let's read this. Equestrian riding course. All right, so there's a riding course. And while we're... No. And while we're at it, let's switch over to a normal bow, since using the frenetic bow on horseback is a terrible idea. All right, so we're going to a riding course... I've already been in this little area and fought these moblins before, so I don't need to do it again. I just want to try to find some some uh, indication of civilization. There's something weird up there. Is there anyone around? This is odd. It's a riding course, but there's no one. There's no real sign of life. This is very odd here let's let's dismount let's see what's inside there's a chest it's odd it has arrows in it weird it's almost as if they expect us to do this ourselves like it's one of those korok things that if we do this quest or if we just shoot random targets, then we'll get a Korok seed. But it also seems way more complicated than a simple Korok seed. So let's let's do this really quick. Let's shoot all of these and see what happens. Like I said, it, it feels like it feels like one of those Korok things. And heart will automatically follow the path. There's one. Let's fire one way over there. Oh, miss. Are there any more targets that I'm missing? Nope. There don't appear to be any. There are none on the inside of the track, so those are the only two left. There's one. There's the other. And here's the last one. Is that it? Oh, wait. No, there's more. And... Last one. No, no, no. Got it. Is that it? Did I do that for nothing? I think I did that for nothing, guys. Oh, hey, hello, hello, hello. Popped it. Yeah, and that's that's what you do for a cork. I knew it. Like I said, like I've said so many times, it pays to be OCD in this game. Because everything that... That's... Oh, Link took some... Or Wolf took some damage. Everything that, like is out of place is usually just a Korok or some weird treasure that you wouldn't expect to find. No, don't kill the fox. Okay. Okay, what's at the top of this hill? Anything? This seems significant. This is this weird branch here. I can lift the door. 
But what does that do? Something... Okay, the tree just moved behind me, and that was kind of creepy. Huh. I guess I don't need that. There's nothing over here. Nothing there. Oh, wait, there's a chest. But is that all that's here? Let's pl pluck this from the ground. And open it before it hits the water. What's inside? Amber, all right. But is that the only reason I came here? That seems, oopsie, uh, that seems a little bit suspicious. I could go over there. I think I've been there before, though. Uh, I, I went there the other episode when I was trying to get those shrines, which I could actually return to, uh, because a lot of, like, I've, I've come a long way since I saw those shrines originally and got stat checked by them, so I might be able to go back, but no, it wouldn't be this episode. All right, so let's go to the tower uh, and maybe end off the episode fairly quickly. I, I do want to end the episode off in Hateno Village, but... I just want to make sure that all my leads have been exhausted. I, I don't want to have to come back here because I missed a shrine or something. So, I can go over there. And that seems interesting. I haven't been there before. Uh, I actually... Have I... I don't think I've ever been on this area. So, let's go here. I, I really don't think I have been. I, I definitely would have remembered this plateau because, like I said before, it's very Xenoblade. Very, very Xenoblade. What is down there? Trees? Trees. Okay. Like, a plateau with holes on it that leads down to uh, this kind of open-air cave? I, I definitely would have remembered that. So what's up here, though? Because it has to be significant. It can't just be this, right? Whoa! Why do I hear a boss? That's a boss. There's a boss up there. All right. Well, that's that's a way to end off the the video. Once again, I'm no no clue where we are in time, but this is definitely a way to end off the episode with a boss. Where was it? I th I think. Oh, yep. It's one of the rock guys. There we go. Oh, well, that's fine. We fought one of him before. Cool. A stone talus? I have dealt with them before, and this time, I am not a coward. And I can- I know how to deal with these things. There we go. Whoa. Got knocked off. Alright, but he's down to about half health. Just avoid him. He's going to throw another one. Maybe. There it is. Oh, ow. He hit me with the shrapnel. But that is my cue. Climb up. Yes. Charge up. Yes. All right. Switch weapons to... You know, let's try out some elemental weaknesses here. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Wow. All right. Let's just make sure that I, I kind of swing in tempo. Whoa. Because if I swing in tempo, then I can let the weapon be charged up. Almost fell off the, the ridge there. Okay, throw another thing at me. Ow. I kind of wish Link could dive. That, Not roll, just dive. Like, oh. If I could dive head first, and it, le it leads me with a lot of ending lag, but no. Come on. Oh, he's almost dead. Come on, hit him with. Oh. It'd be really nice, though, if I could, if I could, like, dive head first, and it leaves me with a bunch of ending lag, but it allows me to, you know, dodge something. Whew! I mean, I guess I can do that, but it's not the same. Cool! Another stone talus. Defeated. And those guys always drop nice things, like rubies. Oh, man. Those are worth so much money. And I was right. There was something cool on this plateau. Just not a shrine, but, you know, monetary rewards. Neat! Alright, uh, let's... Let's end off this episode by 
making sure that everything else on this plateau is is covered because there's a boss yes but this place is huge and it has to be huge for a reason like like this there we go that's this is significant let's switch over to magnesis which we have and we need to make these match which means this needs to go in that no this needs to go in the hole man I love this game I, I, I really do love this game I haven't given much you know much conversation to it I talked about once how David and I discussed the perfect Zelda title but that was whoa okay he, he was like half health from that all right hey, hey buddy you're dead man this weapon's sick but I, I talked about what makes the perfect Zelda game but I really didn't say whether or not this fits that and honestly at this point I'm starting to love it I'm starting to get to that point where I am loving what I'm playing loving what I'm seeing and counting the days until I can record again I probably could have waited to record until I was feeling completely up to snuff but I really wanted to play Breath of the Wild and so here I am today uh, cutting out my my coughs and sniffles off screen and trying to talk over coughs like this is what this game has pushed me to it's fantastic and I'm really enjoying it all right so let's ignore these bokoblins and head down to Hateno I don't think there's anything else for me to obtain on the way I think I've done a solid job exploring there's a fox which is pr always a pleasure to see so join me next time for another pal plays breath of the wild Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of... Ow. Of uh, Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And join me next time when I find out what this guy has to say and what reward he has for me for rescuing him. See you guys then. I think I can do this with just yellows. It's a little bit awkward... He can cover so much ground at one point. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, no! Whoa, no! Really? I, the sand is... Maybe I need to take out my weapon. No. Alright, so... I do indeed need to... Shoot this guy right in the head to start off this battle. Alright. I think I'm at a decent range. Let's get a headshot for free. You, you saved me. I mean, unless I'm in heaven right now. Oh. The Spring of Wisdom at Mount Laneru. It is a storied spring. You can't tell me you're not curious. Care to visit it? Really? Ah. That's it? That's my reward? Lame?